Um, good, uh, good morning and welcome to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan. I'm very pleased to see everyone here. I'm uh, the president, I'm Suvendrini Kakuchi, and I will be your moderator today. I extend a very warm welcome to our special speakers today. At the center stage, of course, is Ms. Tina Carroll, who is um, a, f a very courageous and extremely popular singer and actress from Ukraine. She is currently in Japan, which is her latest uh, stop in, on her world tour to raise awareness about the humanitarian crisis in her country. Her visit is sponsored by Rakuten, and we are very pleased to have the CEO, Mr. Miki, Mikitani, with us today. And we also have at the head table, Dr. Sergei Korunsky, who is the ambassador for Ukraine. The, we have a one hour session and we will be speaking uh, mainly of um, Ms. Carol's courageous work, her, her work as a singer and her hopes for Ukraine. So the floor will begin with her words and then we will open the stage for question and answer. I will also like to have a, f a couple of comments from our two other main guests today. So let's start first with um, Ms. Carol. Thank you very much for coming here today. Hello everyone. Vitaio Sikh. Дякую, що ви приділяєте стільки уваги найважливішій темі сьогодні. Це тема миру всього світу і миру в Україні. Okay. So we have translation to Japanese and to English as well. Um, can I, um, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of the, uh, the interpreter. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for gathering today, not only for Ukraine, but for the all of the world. You are focused on peace, uh, for which I'm very appreciative. Дякую, містер Мікітані, за те, що запросив і надав можливість представити культурну Україну, культурний фронт України. Mr. Mikitani, CEO, has kindly invited me to Japan, and I'm very grateful for his invitation. And in Japan, I was given the opportunity to introduce cultural aspect of Ukraine. As long as culture lives, the nation lives. Сьогодні вам сказати найважливіший меседж: Україна знаходиться, і ми боремося в своєму домі на своїй рідній землі. What is most important that I would like to communicate is that Ukraine is protecting its territory. It is only protecting its own territory. We are staying at our home and protecting our land. We are peaceful people. Someone who are having weapons were never invited to our land. Ukrainian people will make Ukraine even more beautiful country, even a more splendid country. Сьогодні я знаходжусь у Японії і ніколи б не могла подумати, що я стану спікером культурного фронту. Right now I am visiting Japan and I am on the front line of Ukrainian culture which I never never imagined that I would be doing. Який захищав мирне небо своїх поколінь. А сьогодні ми усі стали заручниками війни. 
about the war. In the past, I, my grandfather told me stories about the war. I never imagined that there will be war in my generation. Russia is destroying our towns and killing our soldiers and civilians and taking away things and even children are raped. Не забувати про Україну і боротися разом з нами, адже ми сьогодні в центрі Європи є щитом для цивільних, для цивілізованих людей. To all over the world, I would like to ask of that they not forget Ukraine and support Ukraine. We are in the middle of Europe and we are protecting all of the world. My weapon is language and music. My words are strong and my music moves emotions. There are many front lines for us in Ukraine. There are front lines where our soldiers are fighting, and there are cultural front lines, and there are many people who are fighting on various front lines. Hiroshima. Yesterday, I visited Hiroshima. And there in Hiroshima, I saw a uh, great calamity at the museum. With the atomic bomb. There should be no countries which are threatened by the fear of nuclear weapons. Ukrainian people is now shaken by Russia at the risk of its identity. Every day, Russians are indicating that they may be using nuclear weapons. To Japanese people, as you are all aware, you know keenly, the nuclear attack should never happen again. After the war, Japan recovered from the ruin in a great manner. I'm very much surprised by your recovery. Japanese people is a resilient people. After the war, everybody, all the Japanese people worked hard to rebuild the country. Ukraine will win for sure, and we will rebuild our own country. And in the center of Europe, we'll see a glorious country in the center of Europe. Our country is small. Russia is a, uh, hundreds of times bigger than us. We are being courageous. We're not going to give up our territory to anyone.
The biggest tragedy today is the death of children. The children had to close their short lives because of someone. Someone is with a wish that、uh, Ukraine is not going to exist in the world. For the children, lullaby is not going to be sung. Ukrainian songs, music, they are very beautiful. If all possible, I would like to sing a、uh, lullaby here. I am a singer, so that is my main work. Pytaeca sondri moti, ad buda no chuati. Pytaeca sondri moti, ad buda no chuati. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What,、um, it was a beautiful lullaby. What is it? Any, any title to it?、Or? This is Ukrainian lullaby. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so can I have a, just a minute of、uh, comment from the CEO, Mr. Mikitani,、no. and then also from our ambassador, Dr. <coughs> Sege? Okay, thank you for、um, distinguished、uh, journalists and media gathering today. Uh, to really support、uh, Ukraine and the war against peace. I'm an、uh, entrepreneur. I started my business、uh, 27 years ago,、uh, leaving a big company, believing entrepreneurship and internet will change the world, not in terms of the economy, but as well as the democracy as well. We have seen、uh, several incidents, like a spring of Arabs and so forth. Which information has really changed the you know, destiny and supported democracy? As you know, this is just not just a military war. I think this is the、uh, war、uh, of the information and communication as well. As you have known, the、uh, Putin has、uh, came up with this undemocratic and、uh, how do you say it? Uh, you know, to penalize、uh, people who even demonstrate or、um, post the anti government、uh, comments for 15 years in a prison, which is unbelievable. And therefore, I think the demonstration in Russia is suppressed in a very strong manner. And I, it is, I think, the, now the、uh, duty of all people,、uh, not only the politicians, the business people, big or small, or the、uh, citizens of all over the world,、uh, to get united, to echo the voice of the people. That we are all against aggression of Russia. And it is very important responsibility of all of you, the, you know, who is a journalist, who is a right man, to not to re、really、turn down the volume of our voice, but made it louder. So、uh, please, you know, keep. Uh, supporting uh, and escalating、uh, this issue with the power of your pen、uh, and power of, of the,、uh, your media and, 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 and paper and whatever you can use. 
So Japanese is far away from war front, but I think it's very, very important because I had an interview uh, by uh, Ukrainian uh, media yesterday. Uh, they asked how Japanese people are thinking about what's going on in Ukraine. We need to raise up the voice more, and I think the, we need to have a support of the, uh, of the media to do so. You guys are amplifier of our voice, so please keep supporting us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And um, Ambassador, a few words. Hello to everybody. It's our third meeting, if I'm not mistaken, in this club. And I'm very honored today to be here to, uh, with two distinguished co-speakers and uh, with Ukrainian superstar, uh, Tina Karol. She is not just an artist, not just a performer. She is the one who promotes Ukrainian culture everywhere in the world. And he, she is very active in uh, promoting now Ukrainian cause in the world because we are in trouble. We are at war. We are attacked. And uh, we need the world to listen, not just to official representatives of the government, as we ambassadors are, but to uh, voice of Ukrainian culture to beautiful Ukrainian music, which is underestimated in the world. We believe uh, that uh, after this war, after our victory, which will come, you will be paying more attention to Ukrainian composers, to Ukrainian singers, to Ukrainian culture. And very recent victory of Ukrainian team at the Eurovision, that's another confirmation uh, that Ukraine is strong even at times of war. As well, I'm very much honored to be sitting uh, next to uh, Mikitani San, who is a great friend of Ukraine, and he's uh, made a personal huge contribution to the fund which supports Ukraine. And company Rakuten, uh, Rakuten continues to support this fund. Uh, and this is extremely important because we, uh, those Ukrainians in Ukraine, those Ukrainians who live now in uh, many countries of Europe, uh, those who are in Japan, they need uh, those uh, money uh, just to survive those difficult times. Many of them left Ukraine without uh, 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 money, without documents, without clubs, and they have to settle uh, in a very uh, unusual environment. And I would like to stress that how grateful we are to the government of Japan, to people of Japan, to business of Japan, which supports those Ukrainians. We see that at every uh, local level, and I mean, governments of prefectures, many, many mayors visited me uh, with, uh, to express this support. Uh, and of course, I'm very grateful to you all because, because of your hard job, uh, what we see now in Japan, that honest uh, reporting uh, about events in Ukraine, that's what we want. You, you, do, you know that already. We don't do propaganda. We want honest reporting. Thank you, all of you, uh, and hope we will see uh, each other again uh, when we close to our victory. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Um, the floor is now open for question and answer. First, we'll start from the journalists who are here. Yes, yes, Haruko, please go and identify yourself. Can, can hear you. Yeah. Okay, I, I yes. put it down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are very honored to have the distinguished ambassador and the actress from Ukraine. And your voice is just beautiful. You moved us. You. Everybody on this floor, you know, became the instant fan of yours and the Ukrainian song and Ukrainian culture. Um, I'm Haruko Watanabe of HKW. I happen to be the chairperson of a special project committee which organizes concert and uh, art, uh, art, yes, art, art affairs, yes. you know. And uh, I wonder if in the near future you are willing to organize a charity concert at this press club. <laughs> 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 your culture and your message will be spread all around the world. Because Tokiko Kato, distinguished and legendary 
singer-songwriter will perform the charity concert on June 2nd. And all the money, all the expenses will be given to the Ukraine uh, to help mothers and children. And would you please consider your future concert here? <laughs> what do you happy. say? <laughs> say yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Haruko. Okay. Yes. Do, do you have any other question or question? Well, since there are so many journalists, I should skip my question. question. Okay. I thank you so much. I'll yeah. come up for another press right. conference. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, anybody else? Yes, Rocky. Thank you. Rocky Swift with Reuters. My question is to Mikitani-san. In after this this war, um, many companies and brands have pulled out of the Russian market, but still some companies remain. Some Japanese companies, and even the Japanese government still does some business with uh, Russia, pr primarily for energy. So, uh, what is your view on companies or brands remaining in the Russian market, and what would be the conditions, perhaps, for Rakuten to return to Russia? Uh, after these hostilities. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, one of the most popular messaging app called uh, Viber. And Viber is extremely popular uh, in each Eastern European countries as well as in Russia. And uh, we thought about uh, turning off. But, and uh, we consulted with the Ukrainian government about whether we should or not. But since the uh, most of the media are, are kind of blocked, it is uh, very few uh, kind of communication which can freely go into Russia and uh, communicate what's going on. So we, this, of course, there is no ad advertisement. We don't really make any money out of it. Uh, but I think we decided to keep it on and then do not uh, rejecting all this intervention from Russian government about it. So that's our stance for our own business. Uh, with regard to the um, other brands, you know, uh, definitely. What I heard uh, from some of the food chain companies, uh, they cancel the license, but the licensees in Russia, uh, you know, opening the restaurants, uh, despite the fact it is against the contract. Uh, so I, I think most of the companies are doing uh, their best. I'm not really knowledgeable about which brand is legally still uh, running their business in, in Russia. So I'm sorry about my ignorance, but that's as far as I know. Yes, anybody else? Yes, please. Thank you so much for uh, such an opportunity. My name is Kurokawa, a staff uh, journalist of Sankei newspaper. Uh, I have uh, two questions to Mr. Sorry, Tina Karori. Uh, you just, it says uh, you have visited the front line since the start of this uh, uh, invasion. Um, front line, I mean, and the conflict zone. Uh, could you possibly tell me any kind of, uh, anything you felt most impressive by visiting uh, those war places? And uh, also, could you tell me the name of the song you just sang? The Komori Uta? So, sorry, I don't know how to say in okay. English, but. Uh, Please, thank you. Can I can I ask you which which city you are from? I mean, you are born in Kiev, or you are original from Kharkiv? What city? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What city I was born? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, what was the name of the song you just sung? Yes. Uh, and uh, what is uh, your impression about what's going on at the war front? It's very funny. I was born in Russia, in Magadan. This is uh, close to uh, uh, Siberia. No, not so close, but yes. But all my life I live in Ukraine. And how is, in Askiki, Askiki, I know, my nenavid zaboronyaye tepar v Rusiji. It's a dobre. As far as I know, uh, it is not possible to enter into Russia. 
Пісня називається Ой, ходить сон коловіком. The name of the song is A dream is walking on the side of the window. That is the literal translation. Починала свою кар'єру як солістка ансамблю Збройних сил України. Наташа Вадзі. I started my career in Ukrainian army as a soloist singer. Але на усіх різних фронтах дуже часто і давно. Мукаші Кара. Together with the Ukrainian army, I was singing in various front lines. В Іракі прямо коли йшла війна. Together with our orchestra, when there was a war in Iraq, we also visited there on the front line, and I sang there. Ні, я виїхала і не була на фронті, але, як ви знаєте, наша війна розпочалась ще 2014 році за Донбас. Конкайно. This time, after this full war started. I left my country, and during this war, I have not visited front lines, but in Ukraine, war started in 2014. When there was the war in Eastern region, Together with Ukrainian army, we held concerts there. Було зрозуміло, що плани окупації України є більшими, і я заборонила усі концерти свої і усю діяльність моїх пісень і так далі. Весь менеджмент у Росії. From 2014. The eastern region, the war did not stop in eastern region, and we knew the Russian intentions to invade. And I stopped all of my activities in Russia since then. Що ти маєш не тільки бути у броні жилеті, ти маєш слідкувати усім інструкціям, які надають тобі військові. To sing on the front lines is very dangerous, and of course I have to wear a bulletproof vest, and with Ukrainian army, I have to follow the instructions of the Ukrainian army officials. На рівні висоти дерева летіти над землею, щоб тебе не помітив радар. What I fear the most is to fly on an airplane, and that airplane is flying at very low altitude, just over trees. So the plane will not be found by the enemy, and that's very fearful. Варти, тому що ми патріоти своєї держави. Whether it is necessary to take that risk, it is necessary. We are singing for our people. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Anybody from the floor? Okay, we also have a lot of people watching online, and I'm going to, I mean, we've got a lot of questions, but I don't think we have time for all. There is, um, but I'll pick up some. There is um, a question from a journalist. Her name is Zlata Atletika. And um, she, her question is, could you please tell us how people from Russia could help Ukraine? To, um, to Ms. Tina. Хороше питання. Вони бояться виходити на вулиці, тому що їх арештують. Thank you very much for an excellent question. So they, if they leave Russia, outside, are they really scared to be arrested when they are outside? But if there's no 
anti-war demonstration in Russia, there will be no change to the situation. Those Russian people, by going out on the street and joining the anti-war demonstration, they have to demonstrate their wish against the war. Then their will will reach Russian government. Not for Ukraine, but for your own freedom, they have to fight. Today, having Russian passport is the same horrible thing. Бритко. Люди з російськими паспортами в Європі ховаються. Many countries do not accept Russian people with Russian passport or they're not welcome at restaurants. In some cases, when people see car with your Russian uh, plate, uh, they feel not happy. So Russians, as long as they support Russia, this situation is to continue, as long as they support the Russia. Being silent is to support. Yes, thank you. Anybody else from the floor? Okay. There is an interesting question by Mr. Andril Momotek. Um, how will Ukraine change after the war? In your opinion, Will people abandon everything old and start a new path? We will rebuild our country without doubt. I'm confident that our country will be a country of miracles. Economically, it will prosper. Each one of Ukrainian people will work day and night to rebuild Ukraine. They all agree with that. Ukraine to carry Ukrainian passport uh, is will be an honor, and uh, gladly we will be accepting people from all over the world, and our nationality, our resilience, uh, in our mentality will be shown to them. Ukraine, glory to Ukraine. Okay, thank you. Do you want to add in? Okay, and um, I'm just also maybe a bit more of your world tour. Are you going also to do a European tour? Actually, this is not the uh, tour. Tour is a fan series of event. That's the normal thing. Rada сказати про те, що Kansky Film Festival of France and Golden Globe. At the Cannes and the Golden Festival, they joined to support Ukrainian films. And in Ukraine, there are journalists who are sending out the message about the war, and they are being supported. Travnia, 
This event is to take place on the 19th of May at the Cannes Film Festival. This demonstration, we will go the roads of the center of London. There will be a march of materials. And then after that, in London, there will be Mother's March. That is all. Thank you. За українцями ви будете знати всі новини. Україна, но news о мірі ба Україна. So when we look at the uh, watch Ukrainian news, we can know a lot about the Ukrainian situation. The journalists are also soldiers, members of the army. You can send that message to all over the world. In Russia, unfortunately, journalists are involved in propaganda and uh, brainwashed people in Russia. Unfortunately, that was what happened. Russian people who are brainwashed they think that it's a normal thing to go into other countries. And in, but the Ukraine chose the path of independence. It was not liked by someone. That was the reason for the war. You can tell the truth and communicate the truth. You are the big force being able to tell the truth to the world. Rather than get tired of the war, please always keep attention and keep focus on the situation in Ukraine. For the safety and security of the war, if you are to work for that cause, please be on our side. Okay. Oh, Haruko, you have one more? I, I, it's a question. Yes, mm. mm -hmm. Okay. Haruko Watanabe again. Uh, there's about uh, 800 Ukrainian people now have temporary residence in Japan now, after this uh, blockout of the strange war. Ambassador and uh, Karol-san, do you have a special message to this group of people? Ukraine people in Japan, do we have a special message? Thank you. Uh, we are grateful to Japan, uh, which opened doors of, uh, you know, during COVID times, you know how strict were always rules to enter Japan. But when it came to uh, case of uh, Ukrainian evacuees, uh, uh, Japan opened its doors and we have already 800 Ukrainians arrived to Japan. They're taken care of. Uh, we met, uh, we are meeting them from time to time in different locations. On Sunday, Saturday, I saw them in Chiba at one uh, in the uh, uh, Himawari movie uh, we were watching together. Uh, then, uh, even before, uh, I saw them in the charity concert in Kanagawa, Philharmonic Orchestra concert in Yokohama. Uh, and uh, I have to tell you, they are they're taken care of. Uh, they have where to live, they have uh, a source of income, uh, and uh, mostly they are settled already. And our message to them is very simple, uh, that uh, uh, whatever, it, uh, it doesn't matter how long it will take, we encourage them to uh, learn about Japan, to learn about Japanese culture, about Japanese language, uh, to learn best practice you have in Japanese society, uh, compassion, 
uh, social, uh, a very strong sense of social responsibility of Japanese business. This is something which is amaz always amazed me in Japan. So those things, uh, uh, they must be now clear for Ukrainians. And when, once they are back, I would love them to be a bridge in between Ukraine and Japan, much wider sense than ever before. Uh, we do have 2,000, approximately 2,000 Ukrainians living permanently in Japan. They're professionals. They're, they work in the universities, companies. So, uh, but, but they're still here. They, they live here in Japan. Those people will be back. Uh, uh, you know, maybe, that now we have backflow already. We have more Ukrainians returning to Ukraine every day than, than living country. Mm. So Ukrainians want to go home. They love, we love our country. We love to be home. We love to restore it. So that's, you will see this later on. But those Ukrainians who will be back, I'm sure, they will bring love to Japan, gratitude to Japan. And uh, they, in the future, that will serve for future very strong relations between our countries. That is exactly the dream of every diplomat in Japan. Okay. Uh, yes. you, you, uh, okay, all right. Uh, thank you. And maybe. Everybody will go home. Can I just take that question a little further and ask Mr. Mikitani, you know, the, the um, acceptance of Ukraine in, in, in Japan was uh, um, viewed as unprecedented, actually, because Japan has this image of not accepting foreigners into the country. So the role of business, and I think uh, Ms. Um, Tina has been meeting with uh, the Prime Minister and other politicians. I mean, what is the, do you think there would be a change in Japan's policy towards accepting um, refugees, people from yeah. countries of well, conflict? Yeah, all the support the Japanese government uh, is ex extending to Ukraine is regardless of the size, I think, uh, unprecedented. And then I think it's really uh, the strong, at least, a message uh, to the world to the support Ukrainians and to, you know, to the, also the Russian government. Uh, we stand by uh, with uh, Ukrainian. The business side, obviously, it's not so close from uh, the Ukraine. It's not so easy for uh, Ukrainian uh, people to fly all over to Japan. So it is, uh, I think, very natural that number is not that big as it compared with uh, Poland or you know, neighbor countries uh, of uh, Ukraine. But I think uh, the, we all wanted to welcome uh, as you know, kind of temporary. Uh, obviously, uh, if they like Japan, uh, I think we should we accept. And I hope that this will be occasion for Japan to open up, to be very honest, uh, to not only to Ukrainians, too, but other countries as well. We have to you know to insulate ourselves uh, in this island. I think we have to be more, we need to become more international. We need to be more cooperative to the global society. That's kind of my dream. And uh, I think uh, I'm not just speaking on myself, on behalf of myself, but I think I'm just kind of uh, uh, representing, especially the, the voice of uh, many, many entrepreneurs who want Japan to become more global, international, and open uh, to, uh, you know, many people. Uh, and we need to globalize our uh, society uh, as well. And this is, uh, you know, the um, big, small but big first step for Japan, I think. Yes, thank you very much. Is that um, is that translated into Japanese? Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so we still have a little bit of time. There's uh, lots of comments here, and a lot of uh, there are also some um, requests. Of would you would you be performing in um, in Central Asian countries? Would you be having charity events? Central Asian countries. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. 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 It's
різного формату співпраці, аби тільки привернути увагу і допомогти своїй державі. Well, we I have not been invited yet, but anytime we would like to respond should there be any invitation. So in order to support our country, I'll do anything. Thank you. This song will be about I'm not afraid, I'm free. It's on YouTube, so yeah. please take a look. Yeah, music is, is really very powerful. Thank you. I have uh, any more? Maybe, the, the, maybe we could end with this very important question. Would Miss Tina be releasing a new album in the new no, future? No, it's not an important question. No <laughs> music, no new music now. Uh, я не можу сісти і написати ось так пісню. Всі пісні, чи думати про такий шоу-бізнес, в тому варіанті, як це було колись. Підтримувати свою державу і ну, мовчить серце, яке співписало колись. Сьогодні воно бореться. Моє Собі... серце. All my power is dedicated to support my country. And so my heart uh, fell silent. I'm not able to write music anymore. На майбутнє пісні про які надихають наших людей і людей всього світу, адже я впевнена, що сьогодні Україна надихає усіх людей на планеті. Right now, Ukraine is impressing people all over the world, and uh, I would also like to do the same with my songs. Thank you. If we have time, it doesn't matter. We can do it. Yeah. 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 Shall we end? Yes. Okay. Session. All right. So um, I just want to thank everybody for coming here again. It was a wonderful press conference and uh, do we have time for journalists to come speak to? Uh, they will have a stand up huddle for an interview to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.